From YouTube recommendations and Google map routes to Facebook ads and advanced healthcare, artificial intelligence has become an inherent part of our lives. To make machines useful for humanity, we have people in IT called machine learning engineers, and we have them in Jelvix team as well. Keep watching to discover what ML engineers do on the project. In the end, we'll reveal how much they're paid and how to become one. You're on the Jelvix channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. And don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. First, let's try to understand what machine learning is. Humans like gathering data on events, the world around them, and even other humans. Unfortunately, at this point, there's no way we could possibly comprehend and use all of the information we've gathered so far, unlike machines. Basically, machine learning is about teaching computers to learn patterns by looking at examples and data so they could recognize those patterns and apply them to new things. Machine learning engineers achieve this by building models from data and training those models to make certain predictions. In this way, they bring additional value to the business or a product. For example, Spotify is well known for its awesome recommendation system. It gives the user the music they would probably like as well as expands their taste with new genres. Spotify's ML team achieves this in three steps. Firstly, it uses collaborative filtering to analyze users' playlists and offer the songs to people with similar listening histories. Then, it uses natural language processing to categorize music by speech and semantical aspects. Finally, Spotify measures users' engagement with reinforcement learning. This is an ML algorithm that checks whether the listener likes the song introduced by both previous methods and predicts the next songs to offer. For more detailed examples that dive a bit deeper into machine learning, check out our blog article. Hold on a minute. Isn't that data science, you may ask? Well, it is, but only partially. The recent hype around AI and dozens of vacancies make it really confusing to understand the skill set you would need to become a full-time ML engineer. When it comes to hard skills, you would obviously need to be proficient in machine learning, deep learning, and NLP. While it's not obligatory, there are mentions of statistical modeling data analytics, and computer vision. We'd also recommend having at least some experience with Git and Docker. A bachelor's degree is usually enough for most employers, but PhD and master's degree is preferable. The primary programming language required is Python. It's simple, flexible, and has access to great frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch. Yeah, and don't forget to learn Scikit-Learn, as it's a lib mentioned in most of the job offers. You'd also need to be familiar with C++ and Java. The choice of language really differs from the use case here. Let us know what's the best language for you in the comments. Now, what if you deal with big data? In that case, we at Jelvix, just as many companies, demand proficiency in Spark and Hadoop. You may be surprised, but an ML engineer isn't the guy who sits in the server room all day and only comes to the public once a year. ML engineers cooperate with a lot of data scientists and software engineers to implement the technology into a product. That's why communication soft skills are equally important when applying for a job. This seems like a lot of demands for one person, doesn't it? Still, there are obvious reasons why people build careers in this field. These are A, growing demand, and B, money. A lot of money, actually. For example, according to Glassdoor, Apple currently has 6,591 job openings for machine learning engineering, with a total salary range from $160,000 to $261,000 a year. And Apple is not even in the top five highest paying companies. The trends towards personalization and image, text, speech recognition have changed the online user experience dramatically in recent years. Thus, AI is a must if you want your business to keep up. Moreover, machine learning develops every year and this growth doesn't seem to stop anytime soon. In conclusion, 
A machine learning engineer is a great position for anyone who wants to remain relevant for a long time in the IT sphere. It pays well, has a growing demand, and requires a lot of skills and practice, thus decreasing the competition among job candidates. How do you see the future of AI? Will we always need ML engineers? Or could the technology learn on its own in several years? Leave a comment below. We're actually reading them. Thank you for watching. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Subscribe to discover the latest news, tech trends, and even more. Hit the bell button, share which topics we need to cover next, and stay tuned.